Imagine yourself riding the subway back home, when all of a sudden the guy seated next to you pulls a watermelon with buttons out of his bag and begins playing games on it. Though it may sound strange, this isn't a joke. What you're seeing is a real, functional invention called the Melon Boy. This creative invention, created by Singaporean YouTuber and programming student said is happy, incorporates a Raspberry Pi single board computer, a screen, buttons, and speakers within a watermelon. Powered by a portable battery bank, the system runs Pokemon Emerald, a 2004 Game Boy Advance game, quite nicely. There, aboard the subway system is an incredible fusion of technology and creativity taking place. The creator of the human drone poses a captivating question, asking if you've ever visited an aviation museum and dreamed of being one of those daring innovators who risked their lives for the evolution of aviation. He himself was inspired by such musings, and as a result, assembled a model capable of lifting an adult human. This drone spans about 6 feet in length, boasts a flight time of up to 15 minutes, and is powered by 8 motors with a payload capacity of approximately 220 pounds. The optimal height for the pilot is up to 6 feet. Although the project gained attention on Brazilian television, the author refrains from sharing specific details or assembly diagrams, emphasizing the inherent dangers. The successful model emerged after 10 different prototypes, and to address potential malfunctions or control failures, the operator on the ground can assume control of the drone. This sculpture transcends mere modern art. It serves as a poignant statement, crafted from discarded vehicle parts, underscoring the adverse impact of the automotive and other industries on our planet. Sculpted by artist Luke Kite and commissioned by the British Ironworks Center, the 12-foot-tall artwork resembles a transformer or an advertisement for a new Planet of the Apes movie, deliberately featuring a gorilla. This choice is symbolic, shedding light on the challenges faced by this species in contemporary times. Beyond aesthetics, the sculpture emphasizes the crucial need for recycling and calls for urgent attention to climate change, advocating for the protection of countless animal species grappling with endangerment each day, as expressed in the project description. From 2012 to 2020, global sales of ATVs marked a remarkable trend, achieving eight consecutive sales records. Simultaneously, the popularity of buggies surged, with sales nearly doubling between 2012 and 2021. The allure of these vehicles has grown to such an extent that, during the pandemic, numerous experts took matters into their own hands, constructing their personalized models. One such creation comes from a mechanical engineer in the United States, driven by a passion for crafting recreational vehicles. This particular buggy is tailored for two occupants, and with the right skills, can be employed for drifting and other thrilling stunts. To add to its appeal, the cherry on top is a substantial muffler, contributing to the overall experience. Enter the realm of the ultimate off-road Tesla, a creation that German experts confidently claim involves taking a Model 3, fitting it with tracks, and essentially transforming it into a tank. This modification elevates the ground clearance to an impressive 32 inches. The team dedicated a significant portion of their effort to perfecting the tracks, each weighing around 2,800 pounds, with the installation process taking approximately six hours. This approach differs from a similar Canadian project, where the tracks were smaller and only replaced the rear wheels. Naturally, the total weight of the Tesla also increased to about 13,230 pounds. The vehicle was sourced from an online used car store, with the cheeky ad closing by inviting Elon Musk for a ride. Yes, the American company Radio Flyer is renowned for its major contributions to the toy industry, particularly its iconic red toy wagon. Founded in 1917, the company gained widespread success with this wagon, producing around 1,500 daily units, even during the Great Depression. The Little Red Wagon has appeared in numerous commercials, games, and movies, and it remains a favorite among DIY enthusiasts. The image on your screen showcases a racing modification akin to a go-kart, offering a unique upgrade to the classic wagon. 
Commenters suggest adjusting the camber angle of the front wheels for those seeking even greater speed from their modified wagons. One viewer in the comments expresses admiration as an excavator operator for the homemade excavator project showcased. Simultaneously, the viewer requests a list of the parts used in the construction. The homemade excavator, crafted from scratch over the course of a year, features at its core a 20 horsepower Mitsubishi L3E diesel engine. Despite its DIY origins, the excavator proves to be no less functional than its larger counterparts, excelling at tasks such as digging holes, working with loose bulk cargo, and leveling and shoveling sites. Notably, the bucket is equipped with a small dozer blade, allowing for versatile functionality. All of this is accommodated within a comfortable seat, equipped with two joysticks for ease of operation. The creator of this homemade vehicle has injected a novel experience into the typical recreation on a pontoon boat. Diverging from the conventional outboard motors, this boat is equipped with two paddle wheels, each boasting eight blades. This modification enhances the vessel's maneuverability, enabling it to execute on-the-spot turns, while maintaining user-friendly operation through the use of just two levers. Although the specific characteristics of this craft made in the U.S. are undisclosed, it is noted that these vehicles face challenges with waves. As a result, they are better suited for coastal recreation or fishing in shallow waters. This video has garnered significant attention for a compelling reason. It guides viewers on how to create their own hoverboard. A generous YouTuber from India shares a link to a comprehensive list of required parts, including plywood, two 250-watt motors, a pair of 10-inch bicycle wheels, and a couple of caster wheels, reminiscent of those used in supermarket carts. Additionally, a battery with a capacity of at least 7 ampere hours, similar to those used in uninterruptible power supplies, is needed. While it may not appear extremely reliable, it's worth noting that in 2016, the U.S. had to recall over 500,000 commercially produced hoverboards from multiple companies due to issues with batteries prone to overheating, resulting in explosions and fires. Crafting your hoverboard with personally chosen components provides a degree of control over potential risks. If you find inspiration in both Tony Stark and James Bond simultaneously, you might end up crafting a laser watch like the one showcased here. Powered by LiPo batteries, commonly used in drones, this laser watch boasts a formidable laser power of 1,500 megawatts, capable of lighting matches. To operate it safely, special protective goggles are recommended. The creator not only transforms science fiction into reality, but also generously provides links to components, drawings, and 3D printing files. However, some commenters express a desire for something even more powerful, akin to Cyclops' visor from X-Men, showcasing the audacious aspirations and creative exchanges within the community. If you happen to have an old wheel rim lying around in your garage, a touch of ingenuity can transform it into a wood chunker. Numerous modifications and instructions for creating such devices exist, catering to rims from agricultural machinery, trucks, or cars, whether manual or automatic. This specific version, crafted in Poland, adeptly handles branches as thick as a person's arm and operates at a high speed. The creator is open to considering sales options with the uncertainty of whether it will be this particular version or a new one and the proposed price is around $340. However, there's a caveat, the system may not effectively tackle excessively thick or crooked branches. The question arises, would you consider purchasing it, or perhaps take on the challenge of building one yourself? The idea of building a tank in just 5 minutes is undoubtedly intriguing, and the creators of this model have gone a step further by providing a detailed explanation of the project on a dedicated website. Military history enthusiasts may recognize the tank as the MS-1, a Soviet light tank designed for infantry support with production starting in 1928. Some MS-1s even saw use at the beginning of World War II. 
This particular model features a Japanese three-cylinder Kubota diesel engine, and unconventional solutions were employed for certain elements. For instance, the 37mm cannon was assembled from plastic rings, placed on a tube, ground, and puttied. The project's authors have future plans to build a German Panzer I tank.